Hey everyone, I'm Marsha. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I am showing you how to properly boil chicken breast on top of the stove. So of course, there are several ways to cook chicken breast. You can either bake it in the oven or you can saute it on top of the stove. But one of my favorite ways to cook it, if I'm going to use the chicken in a casserole dish or if I'm gonna use it in a soup, is to actually boil it on top of the stove so I can get those nice, juicy, tender pieces. And then I can allow the rest of my ingredients from the casserole or from the soup to flavor the chicken that way. So if you ever boil chicken on top of the stove, sometimes you might end up with those chewy rubbery pieces and that kind of turns people off and then you're like well forget it i'm not gonna cook chicken that way anymore well there's actually a trick to cooking it on top of the stove and i just learned it last year and i tried it for the first time and i was like oh my gosh how come no one ever told me to cook chicken this way so today i'm going to show you what that trick is and we're going to learn how to properly boil chicken on top of the stove so let's get started all right, so I have two large chicken breasts that I added to a medium-sized pot, and I'm filling it up with cold water. So I'm only gonna fill it up halfway with cold water. Then I'm gonna put it on the eye. I'm gonna add a good serving size of um, salt to my water at this time. And then I'm actually going to cut my eye on. So it's very important not to boil your water first and then add the chicken. You want to wait, add the chicken in some cold water, then cut your stove on and then bring it up to a slow boil. So very important, once it starts boiling, immediately once it starts boiling, you want to then cut your temperature all the way down to low. You wanna do it right away because if you don't, your chicken is gonna seize up and then it's gonna become tough and rubbery. So as soon as you see it starts starting to boil, turn the eye all the way down to low and then you're just gonna let it simmer and cook on low for about an hour. And if you do that, you will end up with tender chicken breast meat, tender juicy chicken breast meat. And so again, the trick is, is to put your chicken in a pot on cold water, about halfway full with cold water, and then bring it up to a slow boil, add a good serving size um, of salt, about a tablespoon of salt. The salt will kind of tenderize that meat while it's boiling in the water. And then you will end up with juicy, tender chicken breast meat. So cooking it slow on low heat, I think is just, the key that's the trick and that's what I was missing I was always cooking it like on a medium to medium high heat and I was always ending up with kind of rubbery tough chicken and I would just kind of disguise it <laughs> with all of my other ingredients but you guys if you cook it this way it will be nice and tender and so then I'm just kind of shredding it um, because it's so easy to shred at this point it's just kind of breaking apart very easily and then you end up with, you know, good chicken breast meat that you can now use in any casserole dish or in your soups, chicken tortilla soup, chicken noodle soup, however you want to use it. And that's all there is to it, you guys. So now you know how to properly boil chicken on top of the stove. If you want to end up with those juicy, tender, fall apart pieces that you can use in your next dish. And speaking of next dishes, I am gonna be using this chicken to make one of my favorite dishes, and that is chicken tetrazzini. And my mom actually gave me this recipe a long time ago, so thank you, mom. If you want to see how I make my chicken tetrazzini, then watch my next video, and I will actually drop a link down in the description box below so you can check that one out. All right, that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching my video. Just a quick tutorial on how to cook chicken breast on top of the stove by boiling it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so you'll never miss when I upload a video. Until next time, see you later.